six permutations. We're given a connection of distinct integers, return all possible permutations. Like one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, two, one. Yeah, this uh, actually it's a typical backtracking problem, I think. Remember, I think we have done a lot of uh, backtracking problem, which is like a search for like all possible permutations, all possible solutions, something like this. It's all backtracking, I think. So for backtracking, there are two kinds of backtracking uh, to my, for my understanding. The first one is that there will always be one solution. For that case, we can just like, like the Sudoku problem. We can always modify the final result uh, and then just return it. So if the result is complicated, like a two-dimensional uh, matrix, in that case, we can use the global uh, array or variable to hold the temporary result. But for a case like this, we need to return all the possible permutations. And it's kind, it's kind of uh, simple like a one-dimensional array, we can just, just create the recursion function and pass the temporary uh, intermediate result together with the recursion. So I was always like to call the uh, iteration method to walk. And uh, this is a temporary result. And this is the rest of numbers. OK, so what we do is just a, just a check if the, re the check if the rest has numbers if rest and length let's see if there's no rest in the numbers or no rest no uh, it's the rest is empty then our walk is done so we we add it to the final result okay and then we return if not which means there is still numbers in the rest. And then we push each, each rest into the temporary array and then walk, right? So, uh, yeah, four. Is it four? Mm, yeah, that's four. Let's i equals zero. I really hope that these codes could support TypeScript. And then we should walk temp contact rest i. And then we need we need to add call the rest, but without the 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 the, the element, right? So Yeah, we actually we just new rest where's the slice and then splice i one and then walk okay rest uh, uh concat this one and then this yeah and and uh, it's done. So the temporary result is empty, and the other one is nums. But the one problem is that I think that numbers are needed to be uh, sorted. If not, like uh, it's if like three two three one two, uh, and we have three. Ah, it doesn't need to be sorted. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. I think it should pass bug free. Wow, I'm too confident with myself. It says result add is not function. God, it should be push. Okay, the time. Oh, return. Oh, man. Result. Time so it's actually the this right yeah. Uh, 
I don't know how to pronounce this. This should be the permutation of n, right? Yeah, that it's not fast enough, but I think this problem doesn't... It's just a, a good practice for uh, backtracking. I hope you hope, hope you can learn something. This is my understanding, maybe it's not the best way. What I'm thinking is that just if we, for cases, for problems like return all possible permutations, we need to just uh, pass down the result together with the iteration method and just to reiterate it over and over again. And uh, when some condition is matched, we collect the result. So that's why I, I like to call it a walker. This could be used in the like array analysis string matching or some binary tree something like that and sometimes we need to the needs the the array to be sorted first but but for, for here we just like to to have the permutation so there's no need to sort the array yeah so that's all for today see you next time bye bye